Hello there, my name is Musa, the giant from Devon, South Africa. This is a Luna tutorial. I just want to show you all the Luna uh, basics, how to create um, your Luna wallet so that you can be able to store your Bitcoins, your rents, or and your Ethereum, right? So without any further ado, let's get to the meat and port titles. So the first thing you want to do in order for you to be able to create your, your uh, Luna wallet is to go to luna.com or just click on the link below this video and then you'll be directed, uh, redirected to this page, right? And then uh, if you're going to use my code, you can use my code in order for you to get a discount when you're buying uh, some Bitcoins and selling some bitcoins right other than that just go straight to uh, sign up when you after clicking sign up you're gonna be taken to the sign up page like this one enter your email address and enter your password make sure that your password is strong it must be at least eight characters and must contain numbers lowercase and uppercase letters and then choose your country here uh, obviously I'm in South Africa and then check this box to indicate that you are a human being you are not a robot and then uh, click the sign up button right then after that you're gonna have to go and check your email to confirm your email address so let's do that let me just switch back to my email and then I need to refresh so that I can see the email that was sent by uh, Luna so that I can verify my email address all right so this is the email that I received from uh, Luna let me just uh, click on it and then you click the confirm email address button right then after clicking it now what is going to happen is that uh, luna will say will thank me and it says uh, my email address has now been verified so let's click the continue button to see what happens next so now i am logged on to my brand spanking new uh, luna wallet so that's how you can create a luna wallet it's 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 really it's that easy you just put your email address and then put your super secure uh, password all right so uh when you log in for the first time what is going to happen is that a luna is going to welcome you to your um brand new uh, luna wallet and then uh, you can follow these uh you know uh, these uh, steps just they they just want to show you around so that you are familiar with the layout of your luna uh, wallet uh, if you go to wallets, you'll be able to see your wallets here for now I only see the Bitcoin wallet only because I haven't verified my account yet And then uh, yeah, you can just navigate this structure on the left. So but the first thing that you want to do Is to actually verify your account, right? Because now if you try for instance if I if I click the buy button It won't allow me to uh, you know uh, to buy or sell bitcoins because I haven't verified my account yet So to verify my identity, let me just click verify and then I will enter my cell phone number there. And then click the send code button. This phone number is already um, been registered. So in this case, I have already re registered this number with my other Luno uh, wallet. So I, will, I won't be able to use it here. But uh, in your case, if you're doing this for the first time, you can just enter your number there and you'll be able to verify your account. So once you have verified your account, you'll be able to buy and sell Bitcoins and Ethereum using your, um, your, 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 your Luno wallet, right? okay so i have switched um to the to the wallet that i have been using for quite some time now you can see that the name have changed musa the giant and the email also changed because this is my original uh wallet that i use on a frequent basis so if i go to wallets now i'll be able to see uh, you know my bitcoin wallet my ethereum wallet and my za wallet you can see that in my za wallet i have 1300 rand uh, for now so what i did was to fund the account with a rent so how do you do that well it's very easy uh, what you what you want to do is to go to deposit and then uh, step one you have to choose your bank step number two step number three so when you get started you'll be able to choose uh, among these banks it depends on which bank you bank with but basically you can use any bank to deposit money in my case I use um, a bank with FNB so I can just click FNB and then indicate how much I want to uh, to deposit into my into my luno account and then click next and then when i'm doing that uh, deposit when i'm making that deposit i will have to use these banking details these are luno's 
bank details and i want to make sure that you, um, i use this code here as my reference so in your case it's going to be different because you'll be you're doing it on your on your on your on your on your on your account so but you want to make sure that you use this uh, reference otherwise if you use a refer a bad i mean a wrong uh, reference then there's going to be some delays for your money to reflect here uh, uh, in your lunar wallet so once you have done that when you go back to your wallet you'll be able to see your money reflecting here then that will mean that you are now ready to what you are now ready to to buy bitcoins right or you can even buy ethereum but in this example let's say you want to buy bitcoins so just uh click the buy button and then you want to buy bitcoin with za or whatever currency you are using depending on which country you add so in my case i have 1300 rands uh what i can do i can use this um total or i can say i want to buy bitcoins with uh, 300 rands for example only and then my balance will be 1000 rands but if i want to use all of it to buy my bitcoins i can just click on here or type 1200 there and then click next and then the system is going to show me that um i am converting 1300 rands into into bitcoin so the amount in bitcoin is going to be 0 0.00756312 um, at 171887 uh, rands so if i click confirm now my rents would change from being rents into into bitcoin but in my case i don't want to do that right now i'm just doing this for um you know demonstration purposes but in your case in your case once you have done that what what will happen is that when you go back to your uh wallets you'll be able to see the balance of your bitcoins that you have them now the reason why i'm not buying at the moment because it's because the the, the value of bitcoin is is it's very high you know I uh, just want to wait a little bit. I think it goes down maybe to 150, 140,000 rands if 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 it does. But if if it doesn't, then I might have to buy at a higher price. But uh, the aim is to buy low and sell high. So basically, that's how you can create your Luna wallet, and that's how you can fund it with rents or whatever currency you are using in your country, and that's how you can buy bitcoins. Um, using the fiat currency that you might have uh, that you might be using in your country now let's say you now you, you now have some bitcoins and you want to change your bitcoins back to your country's currency maybe for instance you are in south africa you want to change your bitcoins back to rents now what you can do you'll be able to see the balance of the bitcoins that you have there right so in that case what you will do is you will click the sell button in other words you are selling your bitcoins you are converting your bitcoins back to your country's fiat currency right or maybe you, were, you are converting ethereum maybe at, uh, at some point you you have some ethereum in your wallet you want to change it back to your country's currency so in this case i want like, i'm pretending as if i want to change my bitcoins back to my uh, rents so i would click here it's, it says sell bitcoin and then four for rent then i will enter the amount of bitcoins that i have let's say for instance i have 0 0.01 bitcoin that i want to convert back to to rents and then i will click the next button but obviously this is not going to work because i don't have you know i have insufficient balance in terms of e bitcoin right but that's how you would convert your bitcoins back to south african rents or back to your country's currency now once you have done that once you when you go back to your uh, wallets again right i mean click on a wallet now now that your money um, appears here and in your, in your currency in your, in your in your fiat currency format you can now be able to what you can withdraw that money back to your bank account depending on which bank you bank with so you would just specify the bank details there and everything the amount and everything and just click the the withdraw button so what will happen is that as you can see the withdrawal fee is going to be 850 which is in my in my opinion is very reasonable it's very cheap right so i will just click the withdraw button because i would have um, linked my luna account with my fnb account what will happen is that uh, the money will go straight to my uh, fnb account when i click the withdraw button it will you know go back to my um to my fnb account in this particular case so that was um luno in a nutshell that's how it works um please leave me comments below this video let me know if you need more information about bitcoin about uh you know different wallets as well and other bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies um business opportunities as well but um 
that is luno in a nutshell thank you for watching i will talk to you soon bye for now musa the giant from Durban, south africa you must remember that shop shop